While I was at the Tableau conference, one of the things that really caught my eye was being able to do custom mapping in Tableau. And what that means is being able to place a background image on your dashboards onto which you can plot um, data or measures or whatever you like. Um, a nice application of this, I thought, was um, being able to plot sales performance for a concert or event where there was allocated seating and being able to show who bought what seats, uh, when and what type of people they were. So just to show you what this dashboard looks like, um, what I've got here is um, a, some dummy event and this is all dummy data and what I'm going to do is, is plot um, the sales performance um, since the event went on sale at, at 9am on some particular day. And if I just click play in the right hand corner here, you'll see different seats being purchased uh, over time. And I've also got this little animation down the bottom which plots the cumulative sales over time uh, as well. So in this video I'm going to show you um, how I actually um, did it and how you could do it yourself. The first thing to do is to set up uh, your Excel data sheet. Um, now in this Excel data sheet I'm going to have one column which is going to be some name for each of my points on my map. I'm going to have a column which is going to comprise my X coordinates and a column comprising my Y coordinates. And the next thing, once that's set up, the next thing to do is to connect to this particular sheet um, in Tableau. Okay, and we're connected. Now the first thing that you'll need to do uh, well, sorry, the second thing you'll need to do is to um, check what format your X and Y um, data fields have been imported as. Um, for this mapping to work, uh, your data needs to be one uh, num numeric and it also needs to be continuous. So I'm going to right click here on my dimension and I'm going to convert it to, well, convert data type to a number and do that for my Y. And I'm also going to drag it into my measure shelf, so it's now a, a measure. So we're looking good there. The next thing to do is to import my map, uh, and that's pretty simple. Just need to go to Data, Background Images, and then Add Image. Uh, browse to where that image is sitting in your, uh, on your computer. Open that up and it gives you a preview here. The next thing to do is to give it, um, I guess, a, a coordinate field to use. Um, so here I'm going to select the my X um, field and I'm going to set that, that's going to have a value or scale from 0 to 200 and you can, you can put any numbers you like in here, it's just a sort of a, a your own um, coordinate system that you're creating and then for Y because I'm going to make this 400 because um, my actual image is taller than it is wide. And OK. Now nothing happens. So the, the trick here is that um, Tableau actually needs to be able to read in at least one point on this map for the map to uh, appear. Um, if I'm You'll see here if I'm throwing my X and my Y coordinates into uh, my columns and row shelf, um, nothing shows up. So then I'm going to go back to my um, my data sheet and I'm going to create a, a just a dummy seat location and it's going to be say zero zero and then save that. And because I've connected live in Tableau, um, if I now go to data refresh it's going to pull in that that new data that I've created and you can see in the very bottom left hand corner here um, my new dummy data point 